avoiding audio feedback in your Zoom meeting? Well, the first thing you can do, probably, is to go to your audio settings menu, which is the little up carrot just to the right of your uh, Zoom microphone icon here in your Zoom menu. Select audio settings. And make sure that your uh, input level for your mic and your output level for your speakers are not excessively high. Set them as low as you can to, and still get uh, reasonable uh, playback and transmission of sound. Uh, you can check your check this by uh, recording a few seconds of a Zoom meeting and then playing it back, uh, record it to your local computer and then play it back and make sure that the sound levels are adequate in the recording. But uh, just don't turn these all the way up is usually the uh, best way to fly. Maybe at 70 to 80 percent on each would be about right. So uh, it's especially problematic if you have your speakers turn way up to the stop. That could be causing the uh, feedback problem for everybody else. The other possibility is that someone else in your meeting has their speakers maxed out and is uh, the speaker volume is excessive and it's feeding back through their microphone. Uh, when you speak to them, uh, their speakers blare out that sound that goes back into their microphone and sent back to you and you get a feedback loop set up and it can be incredibly loud. So have everybody keep their um, uh, speaker volume to within a reasonable limit. If this happens in the middle of a meeting, you can check uh, by going to your participants tool and looking at the uh, little microphone icon for each person in the meeting, just scrolling through them. And if the microphone is just going nuts, if it's like totally maxed out when the person's not even speaking, if it shows that it's broadcasting uh, rampantly, you can just mute that person uh, and usually cut off the feedback loop and then ask them to turn their speakers down is usually the issue. Another issue can be someone having a, a more than one computer or mobile device in the same room logged into the meeting. Uh, this is not a good idea because it will almost certainly result in a feedback loop being set, an audio feedback loop being set up. Unless you completely mute one of the devices, that is both the microphone and the speakers on the device have to be completely muted. Otherwise, you cannot have two uh, devices, uh, com two computers or a computer and a phone or a computer and a tablet in the meeting at the same time in the same room. You will get feedback in that event. If you're on a Windows computer, another possible problem is that your speakers may be listening to your microphone and putting out at least some of the sound energy that you put into the microphone. You can check that by going to your control panel in Windows 10. I'm assuming you're running Windows 10 there. Though this, actually this will work with Windows 7 or 8 as well. Just go to the search box at the bottom and type control panel. That will bring up your access to the Windows control panel. It's still in there. And here's what it looks like. It, it actually may be, it may look like this. Uh, and you can just go to hardware and sound. Or it may look like this. In which case you just find the sound control panel. Go to recording and to your active microphone. It'll be the one with the green, uh, the white check mark and the green circle. Highlight that and click properties. Click on the listen tab and make sure this box is unchecked. You, when you're in a video conference, you do not want 
the sound that you're putting into your microphone to also be coming back out your speakers. That can cause a local feedback loop, and it can get uh, it can be very painful for everyone. Hopefully, one of those suggestions will control your uh, your feedback issues, whether it's you or someone else in your uh, meeting who's causing the problem. Good luck with that.